Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and President Joe Biden has issued a massive announcement in the wake of the victory of President-elect Donald Trump. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. And if you're not watching us on YouTube, please visit that address in the lower right-hand corner. It's youtube.com forward slash at Explain America. And when you get there, please hit subscribe absolutely free. It really helps us out. The President of the United States for a few more months, Joe Biden, he's taken the victory of Donald Trump in stride. And I think the reason for that is he's going to go down in history as the only man to ever actually defeat Donald Trump, right? Trump's had three elections. He's won two of them. There's controversy around one, but he's won two of them. And, you know, Biden won the other. And that's a heck of a legacy for Biden. The only one to take out and take down the man who's as popular as he is. And I think COVID had a lot to do with 2020. There was extenuating circumstances. You had a lot of mail-in ballots. You had people that never voted before, but they're getting these ballots in the mail. And they're like, yeah, why not? You know, because there was more votes in 2020 than there was in 2024, and usually it increases. So I think that 2020 was an outlier, but it doesn't matter. Look, you have to take your defeats. Biden won, but we won this time. And today he announced that he will, in fact, engage in the peaceful transfer of power that is a hallmark of the United States and of our democracy. He will engage in the peaceful transfer of power with President-elect Donald Trump, and I think it was big of him to call and congratulate Trump as well. But I want you to hear it from the man's own mouth. So I'm going to roll that beautiful bean footage, and I want you guys to leave comments and let me know what you think in the comments. We voted for to see each other not as adversaries, but as fellow Americans. Bring down the temperature. I also hope we can lay to rest the question about the integrity of the American electoral system. It is honest, it is fair, and it is transparent. And it can be trusted, win or lose. I also hope we can restore the respect for all our election workers who busted their necks and took risks at the outset. We should thank them. Thank them for staffing voting sites, counting the votes, protecting the very integrity of the election. Many of them are volunteers who do it simply out of love for their country. And as they did, as they did their duty as citizens, I will do my duty as president. I'll fulfill my oath, and I will honor the Constitution. On January 20th, we'll have a peaceful transfer of power here in America. To all our incredible staff, supporters, cabinet members, all the people who've been hanging out with me for the last 40 years, God love you, as my mother would say, Thank you so much. You put so much into the past four years. I know it's a difficult time. You're hurting. I hear you and I see you. But don't forget. Don't forget all that we accomplished. It's been an historic presidency. Not because I'm president, because what we've done, what you've done. A presidency for all Americans. Much of the work we've done is already being felt by the American people. But the vast majority of it will not be felt we felt over the next 10 years. We have, a, we, we have legislation we passed that's just only now just really kicking in. We're going to see over a trillion dollars worth of infrastructure work done, changing people's lives in rural communities and communities that are in real difficulty because it takes time to get it done. And so much more is going to take time. But it's there. The road ahead is clear, assuming we sustain it. There's so much, so much we can get done. 